What's up guys, my name is Khan and we're back today with more Trailmakers Spacebound and today we're going to talk about the speed of light. In the last video I made this thing and actually I made some mistakes. You guys pointed out that the upwards gyros, you know, I'm using them to keep us upright. But I kind of made the assumption that I needed to do this and in reality apparently the regular gyros do the same thing. So if I just take the regular, you know, these gyros all off. I originally thought that we had to use this to control our tilt and stuff. I never actually checked to see what the regular gyro would do. I assumed that the regular gyro would automatically stop, like, our- it would, it would start our rotation, but it wouldn't cancel the rotation. But apparently, even if we do, like, something basic, just that one with A and D, supposedly, if we go and we just get out into space here, and if we rotate, yeah, see, it'll automatically stop us. This is exactly what I wanted to do with the other gyros. I thought they were just gonna, like, you know, start us spinning and we would stay spinning forever, but apparently they automatically cancel your roll, pitch, or yaw. I'm gonna use some regular gyros, makes life a lot easier, and today I want to talk about the speed of light. So we're gonna, we're gonna modify this a little bit and make it just a regular gyro craft. Uh, but the speed of light is a pretty cool thing. In the last episode, we did 1.4 million kilometers an hour. You know, that's nice. The speed of light is 299,792,458 meters per second. Meters per second. Not kilometers an hour, meters per second. So if we convert that over, it becomes, you know, 299,000 kilometers a second. It becomes 1.798 uh, or 17 million, sorry, kilometers per minute, which then becomes 1,079,252,849 kilometers an hour. 1 billion kilometers an hour. That is the speed of light. So we're gonna beat that today. We're gonna, we're gonna literally just, I'm gonna just make a craft. There we go. We've got roll. We've got pitch. We're gonna set this to W and S, right? So there we go. And we'll, and we'll do a yaw, a yaw set as well. And this should honestly, there we go. And these ones we can set to be like Q and E. And now we should just be able to slap uh, one thruster on the back of this. Let's just, or just a couple actually. Let's do a couple of dragon thrusters. Just to make sure this actually has all the controls we want. And then what I ideally want to do is we're just going to like, like toggle the thrusters to be on. So there we go. We got roll. That's perfect. We got pitch. That's perfect. And we've got yaw. Wow, it's actually a million times easier when you use the proper parts for things. That's crazy. But anyway, thanks you guys in the comments for, you know, letting me know. I honestly made the assumption that the gyro would just keep spinning and it wouldn't cancel out the velocity. Uh, obviously, I was I was stupid and I should have just checked these parts. All right, there we go. This is it. This is the craft that's going to take us to the speed of light. Now, the problem with the speed of light in real life is sort of Einstein's theory of relativity, right? The cool thing I remember reading about it is as you approach the speed of light, it actually becomes almost impossible to get there because the further and further you go towards the speed of light, the like more fuel it requires to get to the next in tiny little bit of velocity and eventually you just can't do it. It's just literally impossible to, uh, to go any faster. Are we pitching up? Okay, we do pitch up a little bit. We might need a vertical gyro that just keeps us upright. It's so much smoother with without the moving parts. The issue with the last one, I think, is I had all those moving servos to control the, like, vertical gyros. It's just completely unnecessary. Did not need any of that stuff. But we're already at 14,000, 15,000, 18,000. This is good. We might need more engines. It's gonna take us a long time to get to 1 billion uh, if the game even lets us do it. But here we go. A lot of you guys, too, I was asking last time about why the map kept flipping on the top and the bottom. A lot of great explanations in the comments. Uh, it's a cube. Makes sense. The map is a cube. So we were basically going off the top of the map, and I was kind of running that line right at the edge of the top of the map and the bottom of the map. So as I would cross through that barrier, I would be underneath it versus above it and whatever. If you go up and down, left and right, it doesn't matter. You always end up on the other side of the cube, which kind of makes sense. Um, but yeah, it's not like a spherical map or anything. So I, I ended up just basically clipping. See, now we're below it again. So we're just, we're just slowly moving up above that, uh, above that barrier. All right, we're already doing 30,000. This is pretty good. This isn't going to be fast enough. I need, I need more acceleration. This isn't enough acceleration. We need to actually take this and just drag this back a bunch more times. Honestly, I'm just going to let this run until the game either dies and explodes or we make it to the speed of light. It's going to be one or the other. We're either going to make it to a billion. So to get to a billion, we need 10 digits. We need 10 digits on that thing. 
We get five across the top. We need another five across the bottom. And the first four, three digits essentially have to be 108. If the first three digits are 108 and we have 10 digits, then we are doing the speed of light. And that is, and that is science right there. Oh god. Oh no, we're going into the asteroid field. Oh my... Ugh. Okay. 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 You know what? It's it's fine. It's fine. It's the thing with interstellar travel, right? Is that if we were actually going faster than the speed of light and like diluting space and time and warping space time, I have no idea what would happen. Now we're into like quantum physics and understanding how the heck that works. I mean, think about it. We go, what, the fastest craft, I looked it up, a lot of you guys told, it's, it's the Parker Solar Probe. So we launched the Parker Solar Probe. It went really close to the sun. And of course, when it went really, really close to the sun, coming in from a really wide orbit to a really short orbit, uh, it picked up a lot of speed. That's sort of how orbits work. If you've ever played Kerbal Space Program, you'll know that when you go from a high orbit to a low orbit, your speed has to increase, right? That's just sort of the physics behind orbits. And the interesting thing about the Parker Solar Probe is apparently it hit like 600. We just, we just, I think we just phased. Whoa, that was weird. I think we just phased through stuff. Uh, but the Sarker Parker Solar Probe, it hit like 600,000 something miles per hour or something like that, or 600,000 kilometers an hour. Pretty impressive uh, when you think about it. Just a, a kind of a silly, silly system. Um, but yeah, we, we like, as humans normally, we don't go anything close to that. I think there was something like the fastest human spacecraft was only like 65,000 kilometers an hour or something like that. All right, we're at 66,000. The good news is, with the trajectory we're at here, I don't think... Hey, look at that. You see it, like, drift up every time it gets to the end? It, like, slides a little... Look at that. It slides a little bit up before... It, I can't... I can't tip it down for some reason. We're just... It doesn't seem to care. I'm holding W now to, like, push the nose down. And it doesn't seem to matter. I should have probably lined it up a little flatter before we started. We're trying to get non-teleport speed here. So we're trying to look at... What's the speed on the speedometer there um, that's like constant? You can see the 89,000, 90,000, 91,000, 92,000 ish. We're slowly getting there. This is not enough engines. This is really, it's really not enough engines. My assumption is that the game is going to flat up explode before we actually get to a million. Oh my God. Did we enter Dune? Are you serious right now? God dang it. Ugh. Oh, and all the work we did is irrelevant. God dang it, stupid. God dang, freaking planets with their freaking atmosphere. They need an empty space. They need an empty space area where we can just do stupid things. You can kind of see it swaying up and down. I feel like it's the game physics not being able to keep up with the calculations. And then the gyros are trying to like correct for something and they, they you know, there's like a sort of like a PID effect where it overcorrects and undercorrects and overcorrects and the, the game just can't keep up with how fast the craft is moving. But I think we're on a pretty good line here, though. It's a little diagonal, but uh, it's it's not going nearly as up or down as the last one was. Whoa, why are we rotating? Is it too much gyro force? Look at this. We're gonna rotate. Why are we sideways all of a sudden? Like, it's sideways, but it's going straight. I don't, I don't know, we're still accelerating. I'm so confused. Why did it, it, I didn't touch anything. I haven't touched anything. It just decided it wanted to tilt sideways now and go diagonal. God dang it. I hit Dune again. Son of a ding dong. Oh my God. Oh, this is going to be like impossible to do with these stupid planets. You can't, you can't react to it. You can't, it's just, it's just random. There gets a little bit of drift as it gets going and it's just completely random. All right, I have a new plan this time because uh couldn't recover after that dune collision. So I have new plan, it's spin. Uh, I've been told that if you spin like real spacecraft do, they usually spin at a few degrees per second. Uh, I've always heard that they spin to cool down because if one side of the spacecraft always stayed facing the sun, it would cook and the other side would freeze. So I heard that they spin to actually like, you know, keep the temperature equal. But I also had a few people say that they could spin to uh, keep the weight even. But I always assumed that the thrust was still lined up with the center of mass for the most part. And that they would spin just so that the uh, the heating wasn't always 
uneven, but this seems to be actually keeping us straighter. We still have a list. I don't think there's anything we can do about that. But I'm just basically spinning as fast as we possibly can with the gyros to sort of keep us aligned. It seems to be working so far. What? I actually died! No way! It actually hit something and died! I didn't even- I didn't even see it happen. Alright, I'm gonna try this one more time. I mean, I- I feel like this is just not possible. There's so many variables that just have to work absolutely perfect in order for this to work. The crazy thing about all this is we're not even 1% of the way to the speed of light. It just gives you an idea of how fast the speed of light really is. Like, it's insane how fast it is. Alright, we already have like a yaw vector. You can see, like, we're not going straight relative to the thrust particles. It's kind of interesting. I'm gonna keep spinning anyway. I'm not gonna try and correct it. I'm just gonna let it do what it wants to do. But I have a feeling the game just won't physically let us get to that speed without hitting something. Alright, based on the fact that these thrusters don't look like they're a symmetrical block, like they've got this bottom section that's different, I'm gonna try one more thing. Maybe that's why it's pitching up. Maybe it's got a little bit more weight on the top than the bottom, or I, I, I doesn't really make sense to me, but let's pretend. So I'm gonna try one more thing, and if this doesn't work, I don't know what else to do. Uh, but we're gonna put a, a cockpit there, we're gonna put another one identical there, Right? Completely identical and in opposite directions. We're going to put a joiner plate, uh, which should be perfectly symmetrical there. We'll put a couple of vertical gyros, right? So we'll put uh, one this way on this side and one on this side. Again, just to help keep us upright. Make sure we're max strength. Actually, you know what? Let's do no gyros now for just to start to see what happens. Let's leave a space there, though, for them in case we need them. And let's put thrusters, but let's do the opposite here. So let's have one thruster this way, and then we'll rotate this the other way and flip it the other way around and see... Whoops, this way. There we go. So now the thrusters are definitely symmetrical and mirrored. You can tell. Everything is mirrored. Everything should be absolutely perfect to go straight. So let's see what happens here. If I press space, do we go perfectly straight or do we tip up? If we still tip up, I, I don't know what to tell you. No, it, it is straight. Interesting. Okay. So the thrusters have a little bit of an offset in terms of their weight. Are we yawing now? Are we, are we yawing slightly? We are yawing. We're yawing like crazy. How are we yawing? It is perfectly symmetrical. It does seem to be a little better, though, when you add more thrusters. I guess because the yaw force probably can't overcome the inertia of the giant vehicle. Whereas when it's a smaller vehicle, it's a little bit easier for it to do it. Uh, are we going to hit this? See, look, we're still off. Look at that. By the slightest little bit. No matter what, it doesn't go perfectly straight. That's so interesting. It's crazy. There's some weird physics going on. So, I mean, I'm going to try it. One, this will be the final attempt. I'm going to try this. I'm going to see how fast it'll go. I mean, it's it's going. Maybe you know what? Maybe let's let's. I lied. Let's let's do one more thing. Let's launch out of space where it's zero gravity. There we go. So let's turn this off. We're drifting here. Let's go like this. Let's take the entire craft and copy the engines again. Let's do another. I don't know. Another bunch of engines. There we go. Perfect. Copy this back. Right. Everything should be symmetrical. Now let's take the whole craft and rotate it up. There we go. Oh, right, we have we have vertical gyros. Uh, let's rotate these guys. Let's just, you know what, let's just, let's, uh, yeah, let's rotate these guys. Hold on. Just gotta rotate them vertically like that. Perfect. Copy it to the other side. There we go. Done. Alright. Now we should stay perfectly upright. Excellent. Let's try this. Let's try going up and down on the map. We haven't tried this once yet. Maybe this will help. We're, like, going in the direction of the vertical gyros. Rather than the vertical gyros trying to keep us vertical while we go horizontal, they're trying to keep us vertical while we go vertical. So I feel like that's going to help a lot. It's already... Oh, we're missing a piece. I'm missing a piece on the side there. All right, I decided to go back and max this thing out. 700 out of 700 complexity 
It's as, as big as we could possibly make it. It's got just a ton of vertical gyro stabilizers that push up and uh, point us up. They should all be at max power. They are. And uh, hopefully this is going to work. It'll keep us upright. And we can just press space. And I picked a really, really open spot, I think. Hopefully. Looks kind of open-ish. I don't know. There's some asteroids. Might not be as open as that. Eh, it's a little close. But, I mean, we should keep going straight vertical, right? There shouldn't be any issue here. There shouldn't be any sway. It already does, like, the 7,000 before we even breach once. So that's pretty good. So I think this will be it. If we're going to make it, this is going to be the one. The key is to not hit anything for, like, 300 hours. That's the issue. I don't, I don't think we can avoid hitting stuff for 300 hours. Seems like at some point in time, about maybe 50 60 000 kilometers an hour that seems to be where the game starts to have stability issues in terms of uh keeping the creation as one piece we're kind of in the middle of an asteroid i should have gone to the edge of the map where there's like less asteroids there seems to be a little bit of a border around the map that has nothing i probably should have gone to there but we're okay as long as it doesn't move which seems all right 58 000 Almost 60,000. Oh, it's moving. See, you can see it. See, it's swaying just a little bit. It's not perfectly vertical anymore. It's like the gyro, like, fights. Yeah, it's not perfectly vertical. Oh, it's because all my gyros point up, but I have none that are rotated for pitch. They're all only rotated the one way. I need half of them rotated the other way. Oh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. One, one more change, one more change. All right. It's a nice clear spot over here. We're far away from everything. Right? I think we're in a good spot. Yeah. That looks good. Right when the map respawns. Perfect. So I can delete this now. I can drag this in. Perfect. And now if there's any little sway, it doesn't matter because we're literally as far away from the edge of the map as we can. So now we should be just going right along the edge of that map cube. And all the asteroids and stuff that's all over there, that's fine. And even if we have a little bit of sway, it shouldn't be a big deal because, you know, we'd have to sway a lot to get back onto the map. All right, we broke 100k. 100,000 kilometers an hour pretty consistently. And this is real speed, not teleport speed. It's interesting, the teleporting seems to be a little less of, like, of, of a problem when we're going vertically than when we're going horizontally. All right, we're at 150,000 kilometers an hour of real speed, not teleport speed. And, uh, it's all right. The map kind of flashes by pretty quick. It's, it's, we're getting some, like, screen, like, see how the whole creation goes black? I don't know if that's going to show up in the recording or not. But basically, I can, like, my entire creation disappears for a few frames and then appears again. And I don't know what the deal is with that. There seems to be, like, a little bit of a loading issue when it goes across the top barrier and comes back. I don't know if we're going to make it to the speed of light. We got a long way to go still. I'm going to let it run until the game either explodes or my computer catches fire. Although, to be honest, my computer's running kind of cool right now. So, it doesn't seem to be a, a performance hitter. I mean, we're only going vertical. So, I, I don't understand what's going to break first. But, we'll find out. Or I'm going to eventually drift into an asteroid and just destroy ourselves. But, we got lots of buffer. It doesn't seem like we've drifted too much. And yeah, it's just, it's just really fast. Like, look at how fast the terrain whips by. This is ridiculous. Don't worry, after this, we're gonna launch it right in front of the station, and then we'll sit in the station and watch it go by vertically, and just watch it pick up some speed and see how fast it goes. But for now, I just want to see what the actual limit is before the game decides to, like, completely implode. We're gonna get to a point where there's gonna be something in the game code, like, whether or not we max out a, a variable or something. There's gonna be, like, a speed variable, and we're gonna basically get to, like, a null exception or something like that, where the code is like, Hey, man, you're trying to store a million something plus in the velocity variable, and it's only, like, a, an 8-bit variable or something, and it can't store a value that high or some nonsense like that. I have no idea, but I guess we'll find out. We're almost at 200,000 of real speed. All right, I lied. My computer's actually starting to heat up now a little bit. Uh, we're actually down to, like, 50 frames per second instead of the normal 60, and I can I can feel the, the toaster starting. I'm gonna go get a frying pan and some eggs have some breakfast on top of my computer here because uh yeah she's starting to cook just a little bit 
I don't think the game likes going this fast. 220,000 kilometers an hour, though. We still have, uh, just, uh, you know, like a billion to go. It's fine. Literally a billion. This is how insane the speed of light is in real life. When you think of, like, Star Trek and all those faster-than-light travel Hollywood things. Like, think about how fast that actually is. Billion of kilometers an hour. 1.07 billion kilometers an hour. That's ridiculous. It's so fast. Like, a billion is such a massive number. We're at 230,000. I love how, uh, the longest part now... Oh, there we go. I was just about to say, sometimes you have to wait for the map to load, and sometimes it does this, where it just loads instantly. And now that the map is loading instantly, we're just flying. But before, it was like dropping down to 3 kilometers an hour, and then up, and then 3, and then up, and then 3. I see glimpses of 900,000 something, or 9, is that 9 million? 900,000? I'm not sure. But then when the map decides to get to a point where, like, it just loads really quickly, we're actually picking up speed a lot faster. I, I feel like now we're waiting more on the loading time of the map than we're waiting on the actual acceleration of the vehicle. So it just, yeah, it's like, but if you can wait for the, if the map loads, it's, it's actually pretty quick. Like now it's doing this great quick loading thing. This is awesome. Now we should pick up speed mad quick. 293,000 kilometers an hour, 294. We're pulsing up to something ridiculous with the teleporting. This is good. This is good. I'm going to let this run a little longer. It's been about uh, 12 minutes now on this particular run. I've been at this for a couple hours. But I think this is the winning design right here. Straight vertical, all the gyros, max complexity. I think this is where it's at. And we just gotta let it run out. Alright, 350,000 kilometers an hour. Pretty consistently. We're getting there. We're only, uh, let's see, a third of the way to a million. And then we only need 1,078 million to... 1,078 millions. So, yeah. Third of the way to a million... So three times as long as this has been, so about 45 minutes, and then, uh, let's see, then we need 45 minutes times 1,070, so 4,500 minutes, uh, no, 45,000 minutes, uh, which means I'm gonna be here until, like, next year sometime, is that right? Alright, 430,000 kilometers. The speedometer is starting to get a little bit more messed up. It's harder to read the actual stable speed because the map is just like a blur. So I think once we get to a million, it'll be really, really hard to tell what the heck's happening. I think we're about to hit 500,000. I'm pretty sure I see the, like the stable numbers are 49, 50 now. It's it's so hard to tell. But I think they're like, they're hitting five zeros. It's, it basically, it only reads a stable measurement for the, like, the split second that we're actually in the map. And then when we teleport off the map on one side and off, come back on the other, that's when you see all the jumping numbers. So I'm pretty sure we're at five, like, I think I can see five zero. I think we're at 500,000. We're nowhere close. It's crazy. We are going to be, if we can make it to the speed of light, we are going to be, like, 2,000 times faster than what we're doing right now. I think we're in the 600,000s now in terms of speed. It's hard to tell. I, I think it's like 5.9, 5.8, 5.9 is what I'm seeing. Maybe the occasional 6. It drops down to like almost nothing, but I'm pretty sure we're almost at the 600,000 range. So we're almost going as fast as the Parker Solar Probe did when it passed by the sun. That's ridiculous. We're definitely into the 6s now, I think. 600,000 kilometers an hour. It's literally waiting for loading. Look, thrust... Like, every time you can see the, fl the thrusters flash, that's when they're actually providing thrust. And then they stop right when we get to the edge of the map, which you can't even tell where that is anymore because it's just a blur. And, yeah, we get to the edge of the map, they stop, they load, and then they go back on again. We're getting such little acceleration time compared to loading time. We're actually probably going to accelerate slower now than we were initially. Because initially we had just all this space, no, no issues, whatever... No big deal. And now every time we load off the map, we have to wait for the game to spend that fraction of a second loading. And we're not getting that time accelerating. Like, even if I were to turn off the engines now, which I'm not going to, but if I were to turn them off, we'd still be going so fast. It's, you just, we'd never slow down. This has been literally 30 minutes of me holding, like, I just, I turned it on for 30 minutes. This is where we're at. All right, I legitimately cannot tell how fast we're going anymore. Um, the, the teleport time versus the non-tele, I think we're eight. Is that 8? Is it 9? 
Seven? I can't tell. It's it's something in the hundreds of thousands. We're we're definitely faster than any man-made object, I think. I'm pretty sure we've we've passed that threshold a while. The teleporting speed though is just I have no idea what the heck's going on. I think even if I slowed it down, like I'll try slowing it down in my in my post process and editing, but I don't even think it's gonna necessarily show me anything useful. But I mean we're just gonna I'm just gonna keep playing it run. I'm literally gonna sit here and let my computer run until it explodes and I'll come back when something happens, I guess. All right, it's been going now for an hour uh, since we started this last run. I think we're in the 900s, like the 900,000 kilometer an hour range. It's impossible to tell what's going on in the speedometer, but I keep seeing the nines pop up, so I think we're there. Once we see consistently like two digits across the bottom and then, you know, spikes to three, that's when I'm pretty sure we're in the million kilometer an hour range. But I noticed my camera started shaking. Like I'm not touching anything, and you can kind of see it, like, it's obviously we're spending more time loading now than we're actually spending thrusting. Like, you can see when all that spark stuff is coming off, that's because we're just loading. But you can see the whole craft is kind of pulsing, and, and the camera kind of shakes a little bit, and it's a little bit freaking out. So, I don't, I don't really know what to make of that. But I think we're almost in the 1 million kilometer an hour range, like, natural 1 million, not a teleporting 1 million. Because we keep getting the, the pulses up to, to 1 million plus when it goes to two digits on the bottom there. But I think I think we're almost going to hit a million, like, flat up. Anyway, I'm going to keep it running until it explodes. Like, it, it's, it's starting to shake. It just started shaking now. It's been pretty smooth up till now. But now you can see the occasional shake. And I'm not sure what the deal is with that. It still seems pretty stable. We still got all those gyros. And we still haven't drifted towards the map at all. So that's kind of good. But yeah, the map is its just like a still image every so often, and that's pretty much it. But I don't know. I'm hoping I can see a third digit on the bottom. Third digit on the bottom would be awesome. That means we're 10 million kilometers an hour in that range. If we have two digits on the bottom, we're in the millions. If we have three digits, we're in the 10 millions. If we have four digits, we're in the 100 millions. If we have five digits on the bottom, we're in the 1,000 millions, which is the speed of light range. So we need five digits on the top five digits on the bottom and then that means we've gotten close to speed of light as long as the first digit is 108 the first three digits are 108 we're faster than the speed of light with five on the bottom but i mean this is this has taken so long and it doesn't feel like we're accelerating very much anymore because there's just not enough map it spends more time loading than it does moving so it might be a bit of a problem hi what are you doing I'm trying to go to speed of light See that, those asteroids? That's the map. I w I'm going vertical, because it's better to go vertical. It's been running for about two hours. In like real life? Yeah. What are you, is this for a video? Yeah. Okay. What trying is, to go the speed of light. What is this? Trailmakers. They added space. And the thing in Trailmakers was everyone was always like, oh, let's go the speed of sound, Ooh, in like the regular map, which is like 1,100 mm -hmm. kilometers an hour. 1100 ish 1300 maybe and so i'm like well let's go the speed of light so in the last video i went 1.4 million kilometers an hour the speed of light is 1.078 oh, yeah. billion so you're only doing it in little bursts no i made a rocket that's all like it's maximum complexity it's as, as complex as i could make mm -hmm. an entire thing um but the bursts are because when you go off the top of the map it puts you back on the bottom of the map and it has to load. Oh. So that's the loading. Like, you see, when you see it still frame there, that's the map down there. Yeah. But it's like, it's loading every time it still frames it. So the idea is to keep going and your speed's increasing? Or you're just... Yeah, oh no, the speed's going up. It's okay. just, it's, you can't tell. So when there's two digits on the bottom, I'm in the millions. When there's three digits on the bottom, I'm in the tens of millions. So when I get to three digits on the bottom, I'll be 1% the speed of light. All right, I think we're in the 800, 900,000 kilometer an hour range or something like that. I, I, I can't tell. I see like bursts of the 1.1s, but I'm not sure if that's teleporting or like real speed. It might be real speed at this point. You can see the drift though. Look at the sparkles of every time we load. Like that's the lateral drift. It's swaying a little bit back and forth and it tries to correct it with all the gyros. But there is a bit of sway happening. This has been going now for about two hours. <laughs> Uh, and we're, we're not, we're not even at 1%, so maybe we'll get to, but yeah, look at the sway, 55 kilometer an hour sway. 
That's interesting. And then it sways back and like it overcorrects itself. So I feel like at some point in time it might it might go into a really bad um, a system where it sways so much that it loses control. But we are still pretty far away from the map. We still got a lot of space here compared to uh, you know where all those objects are. So we're okay. But look, 89 kilometer an hour sway. Like that's huge. We're already up to like 170, 180, 190. Almost 200 on the lateral. And then all the gyros try and correct it and push us vertical. And then when that happens, we go too far in the opposite direction. Like, there's the possibility that I could fix it by turning off the thrust. And maybe if I turn off the thrust and let the gyro... Like, we're still drifting up, but maybe it'll let the gyro stabilize. I just... I don't want to turn off the thrust. Because I don't want to accidentally be the reason that... You know, this two hours of my life has been wasted. We still got lots of space, though. We've got a huge buffer here, so we're okay. I just, I can't tell what speed we're even at. Oh, God, that was a big one. Oh, it's gonna be so fast. Look at 200. 300. Yeah, 300 in sway. Yikes. Uh, I think if, we, if we're gonna screw up, it's gonna be because this sway is just, just gonna kill us. 100%. I don't know. It might it might be okay. I just want to get 1%, man. I just want to get 1% the speed of light. That would be great. Ooh, 500. Oh, no. Oh, the lateral sway is nuts. Oh, we're going to be drifting through the map now. Yeah, now it, the lateral sway was enough that it's pushing. Look, we're at, we're at caught. Look at the streaks. We're constantly moving across the map as we go through it. Yeah, you can see that. Uh-oh. We're going to hit something. I can't tell what, but we're gonna hit something. Look, asteroids. You can see the- you can see a fraction of a second. One tiny little, like... Oh, no. I don't know how it got this way. I haven't touched anything. I've just been moving my mouse around to look. It seems like once you get into the million kilometer an hour range, like, it- it just- it gets violent. Hey, look at that. Look at that drift. 500. 600 and sway. Oh, it's just- it's just falling apart. The whole system is... We're, we're actually warping through the map now. You can see the asteroids flashing around us. Uh-oh. I, I literally have a time. I don't want to touch it. I'm not going to touch anything. I'm just going to leave it. It's going gonna, it's gonna to either work or... Well, we're slowly drifting. We're still going up. We're still going up at an incredible rate of speed. I think we're over a million. But at some point in time, it's going to implode. Because we're just going to hit something. This has been like two hours. Oh, I really wanted to get to just, just 1%. Just 1% the speed of light. Just a third digit on the bottom. If we have three digits on the bottom, we're at 1%. That's all I need. Just three digits. I don't even know what the fastest speed of this would be. I have no idea. I think I see a 900 something. Oh boy. Our lateral speed's up above a thousand now. That's a yikes. I think our regular speed's above a million though. I think we're drifting towards Dune. Oh no. Screw you, dude. Look at, look at the path. Look at the path of that. The sparkle path is kind of aiming at Dune. Oh, no. Oh, please. Please just go and dodge Dune. We might hit whatever the heck this is, too. I honestly can't tell. I can't tell what's happening. Are we good? Are we... I can see it flashing on my screen. Are we good? Oh, my God. Did we just go through it? Okay. I think we dodged that planet. Did we? I, I think so. I see flashes of it, really zoomed in. And now we're drifting towards Dune. Unbelievable. This has been running for two hours and it never had problems. And then all of a sudden it decided, you know what? We're going too fast. We're going to start doing this weird swaying nonsense. Might be able to fix that in a future version and let it run for longer. But I mean, we got to also make it lighter. I could remove all the side things and put all the engines attached to each other like horizontally and just make it really wide um because force is equal to mass times acceleration so if we have less mass we'll get more acceleration with the same force presumably that all these thrusters put out the same force we're drifting right to dune we entered dune god dang it god freaking dang it where the heck are we now oh my god we what what oh and now there's half our rockets gone I think we're warping in and out of Dune. I have no idea what's happening. God dang it. This has been running for so long. So freaking long. And it finally decided to start drifting. We're still moving. 
Oh, no. I'm gonna... I'll, I'll slow down the footage at the very end there and see what kind of speeds we got up to. It wasn't even 1% the speed of light in two hours. So that means if we really wanted to do it, we'd probably need a little bit more. We need a stable system. And we need to get up to... Like, we're, we're, we're getting high numbers there. Yeah. This is ridiculous. Look, we're... Laterally, we're moving at 6,000, but we're not because we're moving vertically at like a hundred thousand while laterally moving at six thousand it's kind of funny that this is so broken man it was doing so well too it was so stable and then i think we hit a million all right well i guess we have to go back we have to go i can't believe that it's always dude man it's all now this is just look at the sonic booms coming off this this makes no sense i didn't break trail makers you broke trail <laughs> Look, Sonic Boom this way, Sonic Boom that way, Sonic Boom this way, Sonic Boom that way. No, no, no. There it is. There it is. No, there it is. Yeah, perfect. All right, let's go out here for a sec. Let's do one last thing. I can't believe that. It was so close. Maybe I'll try it again next time. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below if you think there's a better way to get to the speed of light. I'm going to just put this here. There we go. Then I'm going to press space and then I'm going to get out. And now it should go on its own. And now we can go down here. Uh, can I go down here? Yeah, here we go. Let me go, let me go nice first person camera. And we should just see this. I launched it. Should see it go by? Is it gonna go by? Hello? I launched it vertically. I don't, I don't see it. What happened to it? Oh my! <laughs> that was so fast! That's only the first time, too. That's like 10,000. Oh my, it just, it just, it's gone. It's just, there it goes again. Holy cow, it's not even close. We're not even, that's not even at 100,000 kilometers an hour. That's just, there it goes, hold on. It should, it should go by again. There it goes. Yeah, just, just a line of sparkles. That's, that's amazing. That's so great. Here we go. Let's see it a third. Yeah. <laughs> That's so stupid. Where is it? Where is it? You can't even see it. You can't even see it render. It just disappears. It just... There. It... Oh, yeah. You don't even see it appear. It just... It's just gone. Vroom. That's amazing. Well, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. We were, uh, we were close. We were close to one... Oh, you can see it, like, pulsing and glitching out. We were close to 1%. Close to 1% of the... What the... It, like, slows down and then recalculates and goes faster. Yeah, that's... That's ridiculous. That's so ridiculous. That's not even... It's probably doing, like, 150,000 maybe now. Maybe 100,000. Yeah, speed is insane. How? Yeah, there it goes. You can see it like slow down when it calculates and re-go. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Um, I, I was really hoping to get closer to the speed of light. I would have honestly, if it kept going, I would have let it run until it broke. I didn't care. Like, it, it didn't seem like the craft itself had a structural problem. It's just the fact that it starts drifting at a million kilometers an hour-ish. And, uh, and that was like a natural million kilometers an hour. Like, we were really close to the natural million if we weren't already there. I kept seeing two digits on the bottom all the time, which means we're in the millions. And I don't think uh, it was just like a teleporting thing. You can actually see it teleporting there. That's so funny. Look at it. There's like two layers of... Oh, and then all the... Oh, there it goes again. And then all the... Oh my god. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Make sure, of course, you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you got a better way to stabilize it, let me know. Oh my god. <laughs> This thing's ridiculous. Oh, it's so good. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. And uh, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And we'll see y'all next time. It's just a blur now. You don't even see it. You just see the resi- Oh, there it is. There it is again. There it is again. That's so good. Ridiculous.